Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started today with a bit of rolling. So you're gonna to come to the top of your mat, make sure you've got mat to roll back onto, and place the hands to the backs of the legs. So lift the feet up off the floor here, squeezing the feet together, and then once you're here, send those hands to your shins, making yourself a little bit smaller. So you're balancing just off the sit bones here. Before we roll, we're gonna inhale, lengthen through the chest, lifting up. And then exhale, round down. Even maybe tap your forehead against your knees. Breathing in, finding length, lifting the chest up, feeling that tension in the chest and the shoulders. And then exhaling, rounding down. One more time, breathing in, finding length. So working on your balance here. Legs are strong and exhale, rounding down. Now stay in this round position. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in, allow yourself to roll back. Exhale, make your way up. Now, if you found that was a bit difficult or you didn't make it all the way back up, send those hands to the backs of the legs and continue like that. But with rolling, we're keeping the body in the same shape. You're using your breath and your tummy muscles. So breathe in through the nose as you go back. Try and breathe out through the mouth of the HA sound. Tucking the chin in so you're not looking back to see where you're going. You're massaging the spine on the mat. And rolling to your shoulders. Breathe in, rock back. Exhale, bring it up. Try two more. Breathe in, roll. Breathe out, bring it up. And one last time. Inhale. And exhale. Hands coming to the backs of the legs now. And the toes come together with the knees a shoulder width apart or a round shoulder width apart. Breathing in now, we're going to extend those legs out for a version of open leg rocker. Exhale, bend those knees as you come up and balance at the top. Inhale, roll back. Extend those legs out and exhale, bend the knees, rocking up. See if you can slow it down a little bit. So rolling back, maybe at the top, pull your knees towards your ears, and then exhale, come back up a little slower. Breathing and rolling, extending the legs, pulling your knees towards your ears, feeling a gentle stretch or a deep stretch in the glutes and the lower back. Last two like this, breathing in, pull, and then rock up, and one more. Breathe in, roll back, pull, and exhale, bring it all the way up. From here, we're gonna flip straight over. So balancing things out onto your belly. So with rolling, you're flexing through the spine, rounding. And then in this position, in this sphinx position, it's extension of the spine, so the opposite. Point through those toes, press the pelvic region into the floor, the pubic bone, the hip bones, pull the chin in, spread your fingers and press down on those hands. Inhale, we kick twice with the right heel and then extend it out. Twice with the left heel, and then extend. Kick, kick, and extend. So if this feels too much on the lower back, move your forearms out a little wider, or wider and forward. Really gluing that pelvic region into the mat, squeezing through the glutes, feel the length in the spine, from the crown of your head to your tailbone, the chest or the heart center, you're sending it through, or in between the upper arms. Kick twice and extend. One more set here, kick, kick, stretch it out and kick, kick, extend. Move the forearms out of the way and slowly lower the chest to the mat. Breathe in, we're gonna float the upper body, squeeze the elbows into the rib cage and exhale, lower down. This time bring the legs, but you've got the option to leave the legs out of it if you want to. Squeezing and then releasing out. So sending space into the front of the body now as we shorten the back, contracting all those muscles, pulling the elbows into the rib cage to activate those side back muscles and your obliques a little bit, pulling in and then lengthening and lowering. So all the while you're coming up, imagine someone's pulling you from your tailbone and then someone else is pulling you from the crown of your head and you're lengthening through that spine as you lift and lower. So engaging all of those muscles, don't let your chin jut out. You wanna have that chin pulled in, that double chin look, as you come up to keep length in the neck as well. Last two here, breathing and finding length and lifting up, and then lowering it down. This time, stay up. So lift, stay up here, extend those arms back, palms facing up, we kick with the legs up, down as fast as you can. If this feels too much, just place those arms down on the floor, keep the chin in, keep those legs poker straight. So the movement's coming from the hips, not from the knees, not from the ankles. See if you can squeeze the shoulder blades closer together. 
Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. Last couple here and one more and then release the chest back down. Stack the hands and rest the forehead on stacked hands. Bend those knees and wag your tail from side to side. From here, widen the knees out, squeeze the heels together. Again, you have the option to keep the legs long. Fingertips to the floor, out from the shoulders. Add a gentle sway from right to left, right hand to left hand. Feel it in or around the chest and the shoulders and also those armpits. From here, we inhale, lift the chest up, press the hips into the floor. Exhale, lower the chest down. Breathing in, lifting extension and then exhaling lowering down breathing in lifting pressing into those fingertips and breathing out lowering the chest with control breathing in finding length and breathing out releasing out we got two to go breathe in lift feeling it in the glutes as well as you squeeze 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 those heels together and last time breathe in lift up and then lower it down. Extend the arms down or out behind you and lift the chest up. If you can, entwine the fingers and then lift up even higher. Keep squeezing those heels together. Pull the chin in. Feel that lovely stretch in the front of the body. Hold it here. Breathe in. And then we're going to send the right hand out towards the right corner of the mat. Look over that left shoulder, the left palm out, the left spread through the fingers, open through the left side. And then we switch hands. So left hand comes out in front, reach the right arm back. If you need to lengthen those legs, you can. Right hand is facing to the right, breathe into it. And then two hands come out in front. So press into those fingertips, lift the chest up. Looking forward now, keeping the length here. We're gonna point through the toes, extend those legs out and swim again, up, down as fast as you can. Now, if this doesn't suit your body, you can lower the head, you can lower the chest to the floor, you can stack those hands and rest the forehead on stacked hands. Keep the chest open, stay up on the fingertips if you can, so you're strengthening through your hands, your wrists, your shoulders, last couple here, and one more, and then lower the chest. Slide those hands in underneath your shoulders. Take a deep breath in here, and as you breathe out, push yourself up. Reach the hips back on the breath in, and tuck the chin in. As you exhale, you're going to send that body weight forward, rippling into a half plank position here. So tuck the tail under, that posterior pelvic tilt. Spin the inner elbows forward and push into the hands so your shoulder blades part. Hold here for three, for two, and for one. From here, we bend the elbows, hug them into the ribcage, lower the chest down. Breathe in, we peel the chest up and send your elbows down towards your ribcage. Exhale, lower the chest down. Take a deep breath in here and on your exhale, push into those hands and lift your hips up. Reach the hips back. Take an inhale. Exhale, ripple forward into your half plank. And if you want, you can lift the knees up, full plank position. Push back with the heels, your posterior pelvic tilt. Breathe in and breathe out. Holding now for another three, two, and one. You can drop the knees if you want or bend the elbows, lower the chest all the way down. Untuck the toes, breathe in, lift the chest up, elbows going down towards your rib cage. Holding here now, just send those middle fingers forward and pull the elbows in closer to the ribs. Feel the extension in the spine, the length in the neck. Breathe in through the nose, breathe out through the mouth. One more deep breath in and on your exhale, push yourself back up onto your knees and reach your hips back. From here, tuck the toes under, add a little bounce. And then bend your right elbow to the mat, lift it up. Bend your left elbow to the mat, lift it up. Do this again one more time. Right elbows lowers and then the left elbow lowers. Crawl the knees in so that your knees are in line with your hips and then slide those hands in so they're underneath your uh, lower rib cage. So we're tucking the toes under from here. We're gonna hover the knees off the floor and then lower the knees down. Keep that posterior pelvic tilt. Send your knees towards your elbows and then lower it down. Don't straighten out through the legs. The knees are coming up a couple of inches and you're moving through the, the exercise quite quick and fast. Press into the fingertips, the base of the fingers, the base of the thumbs adding little bits to the exercise. Spin the inner elbows forward. Keep the length in the neck. Press into the toes a little bit more, the balls of the feet. 
feeling a stretch in your Achilles heels. Last two, lift and lower. One last time, breathe in, lift, lower it down. Flipping over onto your bum now, coming into a cross leg position, hands to the knees, and then send the upper body forward, resting your forearms on your thighs. We're gonna inhale, push into those knees, lift the chest up, lift the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, bend the elbows, lowering the forearms down, tuck the chin into the chest, looking in between the legs. Breathing in, lifting the head up, looking up. Nice, long, slightly extended spine. Exhale, rounding down, tucking the chin in. Last time like this, breathing in, finding length. And exhaling, rounding, tuck the chin in. Find length again, your right hand comes to your left knee, left fingertips to the floor, twist, look over that left shoulder. Pull with the right hand, but don't bring the left knee with you. And then switch sides. Left hand to the right knee, fingertips, right fingertips behind you. Pulling with that left hand, twisting and looking over your right shoulder. Drop your shoulders down, breathe into it. And then we come back to center. Hands to the knees, lift the feet up. So another rolling exercise. Send the hands to the front of the knees now or the front of the, your shins. <laughs> and then inhale, roll back, crisscross the ankles. Exhale, bring it up. Nice and easy uh, version of crab coming up. Feel the tension between the hands and the front of the knees or the shins. Use it, pull and push at the same time. So pulling with the hands, pushing into the hands with the knees. Keep the chin tucked if you don't have time for your crisscross, leave it out. Last couple here, crisscross, bring it up. And then one more time, inhale, roll, crisscross, and bring it up. Lower down with the ankles crossed, and then plant those hands on the floor. Lift the calf slightly to create a wider angle in the legs and then press into the arms as we peel the lower back up and then lower it down. So knees going towards your shoulders and then releasing down. Knees towards the shoulders and then releasing down. Going a little further now. Knees towards the shoulders, crisscross. Lower down, tap the heels to the floor, keep that lower back on the mat. Lift the knees or lift the lower back, crisscross. Lower and then tap the other heel. And you don't have to tap, you're just going in that direction. You're hinging from the hips. So you're gonna feel it in that lower, lower abdomen um, band region underneath um, the belly button. So tap, bring it up, all the way up, crisscross, and then lower and tap. Lift all the way up, crisscross if you've time, and then tap. So getting that reverse curl by peeling the lower back up using or showing control by adding that movement of the ankles and then lowering down to really feel it in the lower tummy above the hip bones. One more time, crisscross. And then tap the heel, bring it up. Hug your knees into your chest, gently rock from side to side, allowing the head to join in too. And then uncross the ankles, feet coming to the floor, arms down by your side, chin is tucked. We're gonna breathe in, press the lower back to the floor. Exhale, push with the feet and peel up into a strong shoulder bridge position. Inhale at the top here and as you exhale, release the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly and controlled. Drawing the belly button in, release the hips into their natural shape. Breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up high. Inhale, squeeze through the glutes, and then breathe out, release the spine down vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly, controlled, relax the hips into their natural shape. One more time, breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and lift those hips up high. Inhale at the very top, squeeze through the glutes, and then exhale, release the spine down slowly and controlled, relaxing the hips into their natural shape. Flip the palms up towards the ceiling now. Inhale, allow the knees fall to the left. Turn your head to the right. Exhale, come back through the center. Knees to the right, turn your head to the left. And then come back through the middle. Knees to the left, head turns to the right. Breathing and feeling that lovely twist. And then knees to the right, turn your head to the left. Doing this again one more time. Twisting, looking towards the left shoulder as the knees go to the right and to the right shoulder as the knees go to the left. And then slowly, carefully bring it back to the middle. Sweep the hands to the back of the head now, entwine the fingers, tuck the chin and press the back of the arms into the floor. 
We're gonna extend the legs out now for this one. So flex the feet, feel the stretch on the calves, breathe in, exhale, right elbow towards your left knee, twist, and then bring it up. The twist movement comes from the waist rather than the neck, and then we lower down. Breathe out, twist, and then bring it back down. So slowing down that crisscross movement, we're gonna add a pulse. So crisscross, pulse one, two, and then extend out. So getting that one leg stretch movement on the legs as well, working through the hips. We're pushing away with the heel, with the feet flexed. So feel it a little bit more on um, the calves with the heel flexed and then lower down. We cross over twice and then extend it out and cross over twice and extend. Cross over and extend. One last time, breathe out and extend. Last time, breathe out and extend. Remove the arms, either stay in this long position or just finding a place where you feel comfy. And then allow the head to rock from side to side and let that head feel heavy. Allow the arms, the legs, just let go into the mat. Softening through all those big joints, your shoulders, your elbows, your wrists, your hips, your knees, your ankles. Allowing those heavy structures of your shoulders, your rib cage, your pelvis, let go into the mat. And then the smaller parts of the body, the fingers, the toes, the features on your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Let go of any tension in the jaw, around the ears and the neck. In between the eyebrows, the forehead, the temples. Allowing every single part of your body release. Using that exhale as a way of soothing the body. Breathing in, feeling energized, exhaling out, letting it go. Breathing in positivity and exhaling anything negative in the body. Allowing your belly to open up and welcome that breath in. And breathing out, releasing the entire body, surrendering to your mat. Now sending some movement to the fingers, the toes, gently allowing that head to sway from side to side again. Reaching the arms overhead now, extending the arms and the legs straight. So if someone's pulling you from either end of the body, allow that lower back lift, take a deep breath in and breathe out with a sigh through the mouth. Do this again, one more time, stretching from either end, breathe in. And exhaling it out. Drawing your knees into your chest one at a time now. Slip the hands to the back of the legs. Maybe hold a hand behind your legs. Gently rock from side to side. Allowing everything warm up again. 
and then loosening the grip. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, rock up into a seated position. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.